we're going to be looking at how to draw 3-ethyl-5-methylheptane. First, we need to take into consideration that this is an alkane and hept is the prefix. That means that we're going to have a 7-chained carbon. So we're going to draw 7 carbons. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. To easily see the carbons, it's better to draw them like triangles. And then when you get to even larger structures, you kind of try to draw them in a diamond formation. So if we're going to draw something coming off of it, we're just going to draw it upward. So we're going to be making diamonds or hexagons. Um, to easily see the other carbons that we have. So let's just double check that we have the seven carbons that we need for the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're good. And now we're going to look at the substituents that we're going to have attached. We can start numbering on any side. I'll start on the left side. So this is the first carbon, second third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then we have something attached to the third, third carbon, and then also the fifth carbon. So on the third carbon, we're going to have an ethyl group. YL is just what we use for substituents. Instead of, if we used ethane, that would mean that that would be the parent structure. So we have two carbons attached to the third. We can draw it coming out like that. And our carbons are right here, one, two. So that takes care of three ethyl. And then also we're going to have five methyl. So our fifth is here. And then a methyl group is just one. So three ethyl, five methyl heptane will look something like this. There are multiple ways that you could structure it as long as you just have the correct number of carbons in the parent chain and then the correct attachments to three and five with an ethyl and then a methyl group there.